oh my god, there is an issue here. We have an issue here and we need to address it. Why do people hate Node.js so much? Yeah, I mean, I have been working since almost three years now as a full stack developer and I have used Java, Laravel, which is from PHP and Node.js. And I never really thought about Node.js as a bad framework. I even like Node.js more than I like Java and Laravel. I know, right? I've been using Node.js professionally since more than two years now and I was never aware of the hatred it gets until I read it online. Yeah, I mean, uh, these posts are very, are just too brutal for a framework like Node.js. And let's get to the bottom of this. Let's understand why Node.js is hated by most developers. Are they just someone who miss Node.js and they don't know how to use it? That's why they hate on it? Or is Node.js really a very bad framework and you should avoid it at all costs? Let's get into it. Okay, so let's see what's the first reason why people hate Node.js and then we're gonna argue as developers if we agree with it or not. All right, so the first one is, probably the worst thing is that the standard library with Node JavaScript is tiny. Therefore, you have to pull in a pile of NPM packages to do pretty much anything. So I don't know what you think about it, but like for me, if you just wanna do a couple of things, why do you need to include a lot of packages in your main module, in your main library and make it bulky for no good reason? What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right and I do understand why, where people are coming from. People have been using frameworks like Spring Boot, Laravel that come with a lot of features but they don't understand that even those libraries, for example if you use PHP or Laravel, if you see the composer.log file, you will see a similar pattern to what you will see in package.json file. There are hundreds of thousands of dependencies and libraries that are downloaded in them. Node.js on the other hand gives you the liberty and flexibility to download only what you need. So you don't have to build or start from a bulky application. That's the reason people hate Angular because Angular comes with so many features and React is lightweight. Same way, Node.js is lightweight. It doesn't come with a lot of features, a lot of libraries. You can download anything you want in your project and it gives you flexibility. And I think it's a big feature and that's not a bug. I approve of this message. <laughs> Okay, but now the more I think about this point, uh, the more I think that, um, don't you think that giving too much flexibility could be a bit of an issue, especially for new developers who are just starting out in Node.js, because when you have when you don't have much knowledge about something, you tend to download a lot of different libraries that you don't even understand fully what they do. Mm -hmm. And that could be like, I don't know, they, people could stop maintaining it like for, a year or two years down the line and then you would have to just revisit your project and then keep on updating your code for that reason. And on the other hand, on with languages like that are more strictly typed and they have like more stringent rules, they have like a set of rules and boundaries where and people would have to stick to it, right? And they cannot do like whatever they want to do. So Yeah, th that that is a very good point and it's very convincing. But okay. In my opinion, creating something with Java, Laravel, Node.js doesn't matter. All of them are great frameworks, great languages. I have used all of them and I don't hate any of them. People hate PHP, but I kind of like Laravel as well. But it's just my opinion, just because you think new developers will destroy your project, that's not a good way of thinking. You know, if you have been using something since a long time, maybe a new developer will tell you about a library which will help increase the productivity and increase the performance in your project. Now, I do know that in Node.js, there are so many libraries and NPM packages, especially, you know, when we search for anything, we get thousands of choices. Yeah. Always download something that is stable. Always download something that has less bugs. See the popularity of the package before integrating yes. it with your project. The weekly downloads. Exactly. Always take weekly a look at downloads it. and stars on GitHub. You can do those things to basically mitigate any future problems and yes these are open source libraries so in the future they might stop being maintained and you might start running into issues but usually at least in my experience they never happen and down the line five to six years later if you have to change a library because now the versions have changed well that's not a big deal yeah and also to say that you hate a particular framework or a exactly. language is not very reasonable as yeah. a programmer because it really depends on your use case what kind of framework you would use the the, the core logic of your application exactly. so it, it depends on a lot of things again. Yeah. okay let's read the hit number two now so this user here says micro packages may seem nice at first but they're a nightmare to manage longer term 
Okay, so this I can agree with because I know there are times when there's some breaking API changes into some smaller packages and also sometimes they just get abandoned and people stop maintaining them, then it's harder to like debug your code as well and you don't get regular updates. So I mean, it will be like, um, I don't know, like all the pressure will be on your service and you're gonna have to keep on maintaining it. So yeah, yeah. what do you wanna say about that? I, I mean, yes, I do agree that there are a lot of small packages which you need to take care of especially when you're updating versions let's say going from node 14 node 12 to 14 you have to really make sure that no underlying package in your application is going to break with your new updated version but again there's a flip side to that coin as well i would say because and if you're new to node.js i think this is something you should understand that this is the beauty of node.js this is why people like node.js because rather than downloading a hum humongous library that will do 10 different things for you and eventually you only end up doing two of those things let's say you download a library with 10 features which is 10 MBs but you only need to use one feature which is just 1 MB or half MB why would you make a load on an application that is 10 MBs when you just need to use 1 MB right are you trying to understand what I'm saying for example there are so many small libraries that you can leverage in a Node.js project which are, which are very lightweight especially everyone used to use moment.js for dates right now there's another library called day.js do you know about that i just used that today it's a it's, it's a perfect time to make this video and day.js is actually a subset of the big library moment.js and it's like one tenth the size if not better than that so everything has pros and cons and you just have to decide for yourself but you should not hate on something Node.js was made so that developers have more flexibility. And as I said before, it really depends on your use case. So for example, if you want to use Laravel or PHP or Java and the libraries that these languages use, they're basically built to follow the monolithic architecture. And you're going to see a lot of stuff in your main module and in one application, you're going to see a lot of stuff. But on the other hand, Node.js was built to follow the microservice architecture. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and that's why your services are like very short and crisp and they're just like, they're, they just have the relevant code. And I've been using Node.js, as I said, for more than two years now. And if I do a project, I don't know, two years down the line, if there's nothing better available, I'm still gonna use Node.js for it. So on a final note, I would also like to say that, you know, this is a point that we keep on pressing over. We keep on pushing this point on our podcast as well and at a lot of places. So the thing is Node.js is a framework which is built on JavaScript. And JavaScript is a very powerful language. You can use this language both in the front end as well as in the back end. So I know this is a topic for a whole nother video, but there's been a lot of guests on our podcast as well. And yeah. in case you've missed it, in case you don't know that we run a podcast, Pranav, where yeah. do you? Uh, so the podcast name is Programmer Hour. I will add a link to this down in the description below. You can see it right now on your screen. And also let me tell you something. All the amazing people we brought on, they are amazing developer related YouTube channels or they are great software engineers and exactly. almost all of them said that if new developers had to learn one language and only one language, that would be JavaScript. Yes. So take it for all it is worth. So there you go and the haters gonna hate, hate, hate. But if you agree with us, destroy the like button. Yeah. And if you disagree with us, rather than hitting the dislike button, let us know in the comments down below why you don't like Node.js and why you disagree with us. We, we might have a meaningful conversation and you might be our next guest on our podcast. Alright, see you in the next one. Until next time.